Hello everyone, I'm Port Titan 7 and welcome to, to another Destiny 2 video. Uh, let's see, what's it, week number 4? Yep, so we're going to be doing quest 4, or part 4, of Path of the Splicer. Sorry for the late video today, I ran really late, late, really late on work. So, we're going to get right into the video. It will have numerous cuts, but it still will be as long because there's a lot of, uh, dialogue content in this video today so head on over to the helm that is the first place we gotta go to pick up our weekly quest so head to the splicer servitor the path leads you to me once more guardian this endless night presses down on us all So, time to pick up that next quest. Uh, I believe that the first step for the quest this week will be doing override missions. That's it. So, once you listen to all the dialogue, pick up the quest step and head on to select the override mission. So, we're going to just go ahead and select that. And once you get to the end of the mission... It because the mission requires you to fight the giant wyvern boss this time. So we're going to go ahead and get to the end. Now, three, two, one. Alright, see? Where's that boss? Ah, see? There he is. So once you're at the end of the mission, because, you know, override as usual, just, just blast him here. You need to kill the wyvern boss in the override mission to pick up the complex chest at the end. So let's take care of the boss. And there you go. should be the expunge mission it's a new one that's on the moon it's called i think sticks or stink sticks sticks i don't know how to say it so the beginning of the expunge mission it's pretty much the same um, as the last one uh it's once you get to the boss area with these authentication keys that's the only different so the beginning right here you get you have to get to the little blue vex portal as usual so you're just gonna walk through here, hack through the door. I don't have the necessary upgrade to do the uh, little green pad down below, unfortunately, because I wondered uh, how much time I would have shaved off. But this one's actually much easier. Once you actually get through this beginning part and through the Bex portal, you have to do three authentication keys. It's kind of like playing a game of hot potato with the a little red glowing orb. Just getting it all the way to uh, these little pedestals where you bank them and then it takes down the boss's shields. So, with the way to Joseph, kill the boss of the expunge mission, of course. Alright, let's cut to the chase in 3, 2, 1, and now. Oh, it's one second off. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, there we go. I was off on the cut. Alright, killing the ads. I'm, uh... This is the boss arena, as you can tell, and it's a giant cyclops. And per usual, it's not that hard. Actually, honestly, I thought last week's um, expungement was more difficult. This one, Deathbringer, Catalyst, easy, easy, easy. 
Or Golden Gun. Celestial Nighthawk does a nice chunk of damage off of it. So let's just finish it up. And there you go. So you probably could have told that I have been. This is a cut recording. Very busy. I'm talking over on today's material. You're right. You are unweaving the reality the Vex have forced upon us. The tapestry of their design continues to fray. But this is far from over. Lakshmi is certain that our continued efforts, combined with future war cults technology, can locate the source of the Endless Night. I am aware of the device Lakshmi uses. Does it not worry you? In what way? It is taxing on its user. To have one's consciousness fractured into countless splinters and rejoined again can be harrowing. Lashmi is up to the task. This sort of technology is taboo among the Elixni. But perhaps House Light can still offer some assistance. My engineers could improve on the design, make it easier for Lakshmi. No, no. The, the Black Armory has already provided necessary enhancements for us. Lakshmi will manage, I'm confident. Besides, the less interaction Lakshmi has with your people at the moment, the better. Yes, perhaps. Or perhaps you are <laughs> right. Next, you want to go and head over to Ikora. She has some dialogue to give us. Alright. Hello, Ikora. There's a lot of Vex symbols appearing. There's been a disturbance. Sabotage in no. the Lakshmi camp. This wasn't just an attack on their ether form. Someone wanted to send a message. Our citizens forget who they were before they found the safety of the city's walls. It's easy to mistake change as the front line of a battlefield. But this is a time for level heads and compassion. Saint-14 is already en route to investigate. I trust him, but he is torn between duty and doubt. And Lakshmi? The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcast, as Zavala doesn't believe it's our place to interfere in civilian politics. I see now that was a mistake. We can't allow anyone to jeopardize our alliance with the House of Light, no matter their motives. Our citizens must see that the Elixni are people, just like them. Get down there. Be the calm the city needs. Hear out grievances and keep tensions low while I root out the perpetrators. It's time that Lakshmi and I had a little talk. All right, after speaking to Ikora, uh, just click um, A on this and head on to the Elixni quarter of the city, which is also the Scourge of the Past raid a uh, boss raid area, which I, I honestly didn't figure that out until a week after the season came out. I really hadn't had a lot of reason to go over there. So, mm, yeah, and there it is. Supplies stolen, our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us for as long as we can remember. There is nothing I can say that will make them forget. House Light has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titans are layers of politics. 
your estimate. here in our city but still the vex simulation persists if you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure then i suggest you camp elsewhere your people destroyed what little we possessed now we have nothing nowhere to go humanity faced a challenge like that once we banded together we built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside, where they belonged. We hear her broadcasts, but more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air. Sharp as blades pointed at an enemy. At us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about monsters. Once in a city grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us, and when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing, and then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe. to survive, we must all learn to live alongside our monsters. Alright everyone, that was great. Some great video. So, it's time to go listen to a uh, audio, or I guess a hologram recording from message from uh, Lechmail? Lechmail? Lex I don't know what the, how to, Lixmi? I'm going to say Lixmi. I'm not sure how to say her name. The future war cult leader, I should say. That's the better way to put it. Alright, so. <clears throat> uh, so this time we're going to just pop into orbit. And then pop right back into, <laughs> like pop back to orbit. And then pop right back into the helm. That's how it's done. Because clearly, we have to travel by ship to get to other parts of the city. It's brilliant. And it takes forever on loading screens. <laughs> there we go. Alright, 
let's head down to uh, the hollow terminal right there. Guardian, I regret you had to witness my outburst earlier with the fallen leader. I am not a diplomat, and sometimes I can be terse. I know terrible things have been done in the name of the city, in the name of the future war court. In my name, you understand, Rome. The city is a living thing. And it is rejecting the fallen like a fever, burning out an infection. I will speak to the fallen leader. Tell it that the future war court will personally replenish their supplies when they are ready to move on. I do not wish them to think badly of us. I know they are your associates. What a city we would have if everyone's heart was as big as yours. Have you heard the song of the people echoing through the city? Rise up as one, march toward the sun. Hmm. The words of people reaching for dawn in this endless night. People who have still not given up hope. Neither have I. And if you were wondering, this was not the conflict I have foreseen. No, that will come later, unless I can stop it. All right, after listening to that, you just have to head to the Splice Servitor and listen to Mithrax, Mithrax, one more time, and that will be it. I think her looking into the possible future, she's going to cause the future that she's trying to prevent, more than likely. And that is the end of the quest. So that is good to go. And from there on, I suggest get your pinnacles for the week. <laughs> so, once again, everyone, I am Port Scientist 7, and I would like to thank you for watching today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Sorry it's going to be so late again. Um. Please, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, click the notification bell whenever we have a video to release. Uh, there should be a link down to the Discord below. You can join, talk to us. We have a community chat for Destiny 2 players, so if you want to play with us on Destiny 2, you can. And that will be all, and I will see you next week.
Bye-bye.